Hi everyone, this is Marcy with MyPrettyPoshPrincess.com and today on part one of our multiple part teething silicone bead tutorial series, I am going to teach you how to make a very basic teething bead necklace. We are going to use a minimalist approach, but this is going to help you get comfortable using the materials. So the first thing that you need to do is decide what materials you do want to use. So for this tutorial, I am using 14 millimeter hexagon beads. This specific mix you can actually purchase on our website. If you go to the silicone teething bead and pendant tab, then click on silicone hexagon bead mixes, 14 millimeter, 20 count. And you can get this 20 millimeter count in these gray colors for only $6.99. We offer a lot of different variety of mixes under that tab. So check that out after the video. The next thing that you do need to make one of these, obviously, would be the cord. So we're going to use the nylon cord in white today and some white breakaway clasp. The first thing that you do then is measure out how much of the cord that you wanna use. So I've pre-cut this to a size that's comfortable. There's no right or wrong, so whatever makes you the most comfortable. The next thing, which is a very important step of this process, is to melt the ends of the nylon cord. And you do that simply with a lighter and that keeps that frayed edge away so it's a lot easier to string. So I've already set out the beads that I wanna use on this necklace, so I'm gonna start stringing them on. Just put it right through the hole, and it's sliding right on because we have seared those edges. This one's really neat. See the detail in that one? These beads are gorgeous. A good thing about these mixes are that it has a variety of solids and marbles. So this in particular mix, which is F14MM-5, is it has a lot of the specialty ones in there. You see the marbles? Very pretty. So we have five beads strung on our nylon cord. Now if you wanted to, you could tie a knot between each of these beads. It adds a really fun design element. I'm not gonna do that today but you definitely could, it's, it's a lot of fun. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna even up my ends here so that I can get my necklace centered. As you see here, and now we're gonna tie a knot. It's a pretty basic knot that you're gonna do. You just wanna pull it tight. And it's okay if your end, if you don't get it perfectly even because we can trim it up to make it work. Make sure the bead won't slip past it. I'm gonna do one more. And you don't necessarily have to do this either if you don't want to. I like to do this because then it kinda keeps my, my design in place and it doesn't move around on the necklace. You can see how it's, that knot is stopping the bead there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Tie the knot as close to it as I can. And since I did two on the other side, I'm gonna do two on this side. You can do one, you can do two, depending on what size nylon cord you have or you use. Um, you might only need to do one. So there's two knots and it's held together. Now I'm gonna see if I'm still even. So I'm gonna get this together. Lost a little bit, I'm a little long there. So I'm just gonna trim it. Ah, there we go. See how that frayed? So let's get that edge seared again. Super easy. And now it is time to put on our safety clasps. So once again, you slide that through and we're tying a knot. So teething necklaces are a lot about tying. So there's a nice good knot. And whoop, gotta tie it one more. Went right through. I can get it back through, okay. So I'm gonna do two. And again, depending on what cord you're using, 
What nylon cord? You may only have to do one. That should definitely do it. You want to make sure that you're putting the clasp sticking out so that it can attach. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So stick it through the end because we need it to be able to hook. Put it on there and we'll tie our knot like so. And I know I need to tie another one because it came off on the other side. So I'm gonna tie this knot here, get it together so I have one big knot, pull it tight. Now if you want, you can trim it. I would on this end, we don't really need to on this end, nothing's poking out, but on this end I'm gonna trim it. But when you do trim it, just be careful, don't trim it too close. That can weaken your knot. And as always, whenever I make a trim, I'm gonna go ahead and melt it again. See if that worked. That worked, that hides it. You can leave it like this. I prefer to do another knot to keep my, to keep my end in place so that this isn't sliding all around. And then you just wanna pull it close, pull it down, and I'm gonna do one more because I've been doing two for everything on this necklace. Boom. There's that knot. That's gonna keep my clasp from going anywhere. Let's do the same thing on this side. And we wanna get it, nope, that's too far away. We wanna get it, you wanna get it close. The whole point of tying this knot is to keep the clasp on the end of the necklace. And it can get kind of tricky because you're you want to get this clasp through the hole. Okay, perfect. And then one more knot because I did two on the other side. Bam. Perfect. So as you can see, that's there. Put it together. And now you have a really beautiful, really simple silicone teething bead necklace. It's very easy to make and it's very fun. You can use any combinations of beads. So make sure that you head to our website. You can find everything that I use for this tutorial on our website, myprettyposhprincess.com. Click on the silicone teething bead and pendant tabs to see what we have. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in for our next video. Video number two will be how to make a rattle ring using silicone teething and wood beads. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.